Previously on New Crits on the Block. As the ship free falls and crashes into the ground, you see it almost like disappear for a second into the fire pillar and you see the body start to kind of recoil into the fire as the force of this explosion, buildings just get completely leveled. The entire city turns to like ash and dust. You see Philippa as she is encased in ice and you see a crumpled body, but you notice that it has one long like gangly arm and the other one is completely missing. And then we never speak again. I pointed two times. <laughs> I, was, I wasn't uh, looking. No, that it was, was a cue. flick with the pencil. I was, I was breathing hard. Well, okay, so what would you call that? That's not really a point. Flick at the wrist. So what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so pointing it. So good, so good. So so pop culture. Thank you, thank you. I know so much about pop culture. Don't ask me any other questions. Did you though. say pulp culture? Yeah, pulp you said culture? pulp. Like full pulp. pulp culture. Yeah, full yeah. pulp. Like pulp fiction culture. Or, or like or juice. Or, or some yeah, pulp. I, thought, I was thinking juice. Like you just know about pulp. You know a lot about pulp and juice. Yeah. Sure. You're a pulp guy. Like, or, I'm part of the pulp culture. It's like, what's that? It's like, oh, we only drink juices with only pulp in them. Yeah, it's I actually just pulp. Don't we get all the liquid out of pulp it. Yeah. too much. I want to so. chew on my juice. It's a very, mm-hmm. it's very viscous <laughs> drink. <laughs> yeah, I, the more you describe this juice, I don't like it. <laughs> it's very pulpy. pulpy. I think the only thick juice I like is like the, uh, like the boathouse ones, or the what are they called? Like the Green Machine. I can't remember the company that does that. No. Um, green Machine. It's like all None the juices mixed in together. It's like um, it's always on like like on the same little like end cap where like kombucha oh, is. Oh, Adwala. Oh, yeah, like that kind of stuff. Adwala. I don't know if oh. that's it. Yeah, but I think yeah. it sounds like it's be Adwala. It's right? a pul- it's a Adwala is a, pul- a pulpy juice for sure. I also yeah. think, I also don't think pulp, they pasteurize their juices. No, no, I don't, they're not. I don't mean I don't mean that's why pulp, they're like a fresh. I just meant more of thick a thick juice. Yeah, which, is, which is concerning. <laughs> what Adwala is pretty thick. You like I'll, a thick juice? I'll, I'll no, I like pasteurized things. So like Sunny D? I will put a picture no, of I it. No, I like it when you use science to not poison me. Or just drink it by its expiration date. And just, yeah. Or just give it as the land gives it. That's right. Well, I mean, I guess all juice when it expires just turns into alcohol, so. Yeah. <laughs> Does well, it? Well, with it ferments, more time. right? Yeah. I mean, it doesn't become there's, there's like a sweet spot. expiration date because otherwise, like, I don't think citrus does. We'd save I don't so think much you money can ferment alcohol. citrus. I think you can ferment can most sugars. You, I think it turns into like literal poison, which is what alcohol is. Well, <laughs> <laughs> you can add us at the Discord. Let's continue on with the actual story. No, if I continue, I mean start. So, well, continue from last episode. Yes. Mm-hmm. So uh, there's that. You're yeah. welcome. Uh, Borel, why don't you start us off? You are in front of your uh, brother's crumpled body uh, standing in your, well, I say in, standing on the ashes of your ancestral home. This was a wrong episode to start drinking. Yep. <laughs> Katana yep. starts crying. And <laughs> yeah. now I have... To sneeze. Oh, okay. I'll pause. <laughs> right I, love, into I the would mic. love if that was what I have returned. <gasps> I avoided the first one. Could not stay Baron. away for the second. It is I, Baron Von Honk. Baron. Oh, Baron. How's Why it going? Why did you disappear? I had a, a beautiful sneeze you for did, you. did, but then I heard another sneeze off somewhere in the lands and I had to bid you Baron. All adieu. Baron. Hmm? I have a gift for you. <laughs> Do you? Open your ears. Done. Are they open? Done. Are they really open? (laughs) Done. (laughs) Chills me to the bone. Spine tingles with the honk of a nose I can sense near. Please tell me how much for that handkerchief? (laughs) How much you got, Baron? The Baron von Honk has... Oh, where's... where's, 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 Okay. 
This is like selling your dirty bathwater. I just want to let you know this. And good. I, I also good. Will not take less, part in this. less competition. So it seems it is just between you and I. You, the nosed popper, and I, Baron von Honk. Baron! How, how much for your soiled handkerchief? One straw penny. How about one hay penny? Deal. Deal! Here you are. <laughs> <laughs> now, hand me the soiled handkerchief. So yes, yes. Weird. No, 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 no. I want no substitute. Are you Put sure? it in my hands. Baron, are, are you really sure the about Baron this? Baron is always uh, sure. Please wash your hands, Baron. Mm. Oh, it's so gross. The moisture seek, seeping <laughs> into my calluses. <laughs> mm. <laughs> the Baron bids you adieu. <laughs> to go throw up. <laughs> so you're in front of your crumpled brother's body, just in case everyone forgot with the whole uh, the gravity of Baron the situation. Von, uh, honk. No, mm -hmm. nobody heard that though. That's bonus content. Oh, oh, the Baron von Honk. No, are we are we keeping that I'm, out of the podcast? I'm, I'm fucking around. Well, now we should just so people wonder what's going on. Hmm. I think we should put it in. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so yes, the crumpled body of your brother is lying in front of you. <laughs> What do you want to do? Or what do you th what are you thinking? What's going on in Borel's head? Um I guess I'm I'm just I think at this point I'm just kind of, you know, like sitting on a like a I'm sitting near him either on the ground or on a rock, I guess whatever. I mean there's a lot of rubble, so yeah. rubble, rubble, rubble. And just kind of just wondering what happened because I never really got the like the full like brief of you know it was just kind of like I was here and all of a sudden I could tell shit was going sideways my dad brought me down to a portal kicked me into the portal and then here I am and my my ancestral home has been demolished my brother is deformed and, and burnt in front of me, my dad is somewhere. Just wondering what I could have done. Should I try to get home sooner? There's a lot of guilt. There's a lot of uh, sadness. There's a lot of confusion. And then it sort of just turns to anger because I realize that in all that chaos, K slipped away and it finally landed in my head that K slipped away and I get, I go into a rage mode and I start, I kind of pace around. I kind of, you know, I'm just kind of looking around like he's just going to be there, uh, okay. you know, just like looking around and like, and then I just, I turn and I look at my brother's body and I, all I can think of is, is that my brother was not, perfect but you know I, I can't really justify a proper burial to the townspeople anymore so I'm just gonna I'm going to I'm gonna cast um, sorry is it move earth I think that's the spell oh the one you guys used to excavate yeah. at the what is it the giant's home yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah I think it was it I can't remember what the spell name was, but I, I think I, I think it's I'm pretty sure it's it's I, move earth. Yep. Yeah, I got it. I was say, okay. Believe it or not, I don't know the entire spell book. Um, and I'm going to <laughs> Yeah. Not yet. <laughs> Give I don't, me I don't really want to move his body because I don't want it to like <laughs> like break off like break off a finger. <laughs> 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 just gonna, oh, you know, just like, <laughs> I don't I don't really want to touch him either. I just just because I just don't want to touch him. Yeah, that's I reasonable. I want if I may, could I sort of liquefy the earth? So like, you know what happens when um, in, a, in an earthquake, some forms of land, there's liquefaction where things just kind of slide around. You just blew his mind. He, I, I, the word you said. No, like, he like look up, look up he recoiled. He's like, 
No, I know what you're talking about. Well, in seismic no, no, events, I, there's liquid I mean, Jake yeah. is just impressed by the word I just, you said. Yeah, I just, not, not like, the, whoa, you pronounced that good the first try? Yeah, you can say words, right? So I, I kind of want <laughs> like just the like? earth that instead of trying to like <laughs> dig, instead of trying to dig the earth around him, I kind of just want the earth to like tremble and he just kind of sink. Swallow him up, yeah. basically. Yeah. Like quick sand. Um, quick earth. Quick earth. Quick dirt. Quick dirt. Quick, quick dirt. You know, I will, Move earth quick. I will allow it. Thank you. And because you're moving earth still, right? Speaking. Right. <laughs> I mean, we could do the whole, you know, I could telekinesis and move his body and move the Two earth. But yeah, no, yep. agreed. Immense sadness I am experiencing as I'm doing. What the fuck are we laughing at? I just ben. said Ben over no, there I was already just checking say you could, on things. No, I was say oh, you. were you just trying to rule Nazi me <laughs> on liquefaction? He's quite, not going to let opposite. you bury your brother. Oh, okay. I was actually going to tell you that. trying to prove you wrong. No, right. I was trying to prove you right. Yeah. Oh. Saying your spell, it spells you can move dirt in the manner you choose. Oh, And because sweet. it Thank happens you. slowly, people can't resist it. Right? Like people right. can't, you can't suck somebody in who's trying to stop it from happening. I don't think it can really resist it either. That's the point. Yeah. yeah. Is that it would just, you could just, what it, thank you, ben. Man. you could just make it kind of sink. It would be in. Yeah. wild if I made a dexterity check <laughs> like, like you were doing. Like, like, oh! <laughs> no, it's more, it's more <laughs> like, well, maybe it's a one crumpled hand, just like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's the end of the arc. That's yeah. the end of the arc, yeah. obviously. Yeah. <laughs> it was more of the fact that I, you were like, can I do this? Can I do this? Can I do this? And I'm like, yeah. Can I do this? Can you I can. do this? Yeah, you can. can I do this? 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 I have absolutely no idea what you're referencing. Oh, it is. I'm a deus, I'm a deus, I'm a deus. I only know that part of the song. He's really shaking his head real hard. I literally could not say any other part of that song besides that You've never heard that? That's all you need. I'm going to sink him as deep as I can. Okay. You know, so that like... Six feet. During... No, yeah. deeper than that, if I can. Deep, okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean like how, how deep? How deep will you allow me to? Uh, how deep will Ben allow you to? <laughs> as he <laughs> reaches for his phone, <laughs> as, as, I want to take Ben's phone and throw it in the other room. Well, for you every know what? You want, you, you're like, gee, I wonder how the spell works. I'm like, it's I, written out. Ben, I also have a phone that you can know, look it up. Ben doesn't read his spells. I just, I want. Here. I want to know what a session. Oh, touch like. your phone. Yeah, then I can't lick it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I my- can. <laughs> oh, no, Baron. No. He's back. <laughs> he has to enter the door every time. <laughs> every time. Uh, it doesn't matter, Jake. How, yeah, how deep do you want feet. to go? I want to go 20 feet. up to 20 feet. There you go. I want to go 20 feet down. Okay, you get to go 30 feet. <gasps> just to annoy Ben. Okay. But that's um, not. <laughs> no, that's not how it works. Um, Next session, Ben has to leave his phone in the other room. I'll just Ooh. find the book. We're going to do a and d party where it's like the dinner parties where you have to put your phone in a thing so you can't... I'm going to do, bring the player's you handbook. You can't ch- do check that. the rules. Okay. And then I think I'm just going to start looking around for any of my family heirlooms or just shit in the rubble. Ooh. <sighs> make an investigation check. Thank make you. an heirloom check. <laughs> Tomato or possession? Good one. <laughs> That's Good a one. joke for the, the the plant lovers out there. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> or just people who know that heirloom tomatoes are a thing. <laughs> Jake didn't till just now. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I, no, I, I, didn't I literally didn't. Wow, see? Okay. I, I know I they are. It, I just didn't make the connection. Okay. No, I didn't even hear honey. what you said. That's why I was confused. Because I just heard, <laughs> that's for plant people. I'm like, what? <laughs> oh, no. Right. Yeah, what your roll? Gotta be quick. What we got? Three plus five is an eight. An eight? Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, there's some sick-ass ash. <laughs> <laughs> I scoop it up. It's, it, the ash is in the shape of a teddy bear. I scoop it up. <laughs> Favorite teddy bear. Yeah. That's, my, that's my family ash. Don't touch it. <laughs> oh, this is mine. My family this ash. This is my heirloom ash. This is probably my Just put couch. It, put it in one of those little necklaces, you know? <laughs> this, is, yeah. this, is, this could have been the painting of my family right here. Well, it's probably all three things. Yeah. A couch, a chair, and the painting all in one. Now you're really just like... And a little bit of some yeah. of your family. And if yeah. anything, now you have all the heirlooms Wait, in don't one. you have the ability to uh, fix objects via the spell... Uh, what's it called? Um, fix objects? Mend? Mend, yeah. Just mend some ash. I don't think that how, that's it's how... It's not no, that powerful. It, it, it's like if you get a cut in your shirt, you can mend it. Not but what you can this is... Yeah, it's just like it's just a really a, deep cut. Yeah, <laughs> that's all it is. Uh, but what if you cast it? I'm actually, very. What if you cast no, it? No, he's right. Cut. Ben's right. Ben's right. He's always right. Can you mend ash? No, no, okay. <laughs> no. I'm not right. Plus, plus, mending is a cantrip, so it's like 
Well, but does does it level with you? So just like, hand trip your castle no, back together. Amend at level 18, maybe. <laughs> this spell can physically repair a magic item or construct, but the spell can't restore magic to such an object. This spell... Re- the spell repairs a single break or tear in an object you touch. So you just gotta mend it a lot of times. <laughs> yeah, just mend it piece by piece. I can yeah. just imagine you Each atom break. by atom. <laughs> you you finish and it's like a couch picture like it's ottoman. This it's weird, just like gross this weird amalgamation from, of all yeah, of them. It's like a surrealism picture <laughs> yeah. of a couch. Like, here it is. Oh god. Uh-huh. So but like, you know what though? You'd be like super famous across the land as like the new Picasso. Uh, yeah, or like but but like of the Salvador interior decorating. Dali. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Dash. <laughs> Since I can't find no heirlooms, I'm just going to keep doing that. I mean, I'm just going to keep looking around. It's you know. are, are you, Okay. At that point, I will say that after like rummaging through some uh, like ash and rubble, you find a... Hmm. I'm trying to remember the right gem. A ruby, like a... a you can't remember Ruby? <laughs> Shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> it's, it's like my gem. brain was saying sapphire, but I was like, that's not the red one. <laughs> that's Jesus the red Christ. one. It's not the red one. That's what's the red one. My brain. Okay. Hey. Which one is the red one? I just one? want to say to everyone listening to this, if you haven't noticed yet, we've been drinking. Hello. I'm double fisting. I have a beer and a cocktail. I think garnets are red too, right? Uh yes. yes. Yeah. So, you know, we don't know those two. <laughs> I, like I know he, that because I played keeps, Skyrim. He's even looking up gem rules for you. <laughs> he just can't help himself. I can't be, I, I, I cannot say something is true unless I verify that data before saying it. Fair enough. There you it's go. The biggest problem with so, people okay. in this world. Find <laughs> just a woozy. Re- re- uh, no, uh, <laughs> regurgitate like information without checking fair. it. You find a full ruby necklace. Oh, fuck. Uh, that has like one uh, fairly large diamond in the center. Uh, and this was your late mother's. I instantly crumble to the ground. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you instantly what? I just instantly I do the whole side eye thing and just like <laughs> slip Even it into my room. Yours. You yeah, steal right. for yourself. <laughs> Still can't help yourself. It's the right. thrill for him. It's it really yeah. what he's on to. <laughs> Goes into someone else's house and takes their heirloom. God, God damn it! This is my oh, heirloom now. Ryan. I'm sorry, but I couldn't. Foral's got a problem. Yeah, and I forgot about my problem until just now. Thanks. Um, anyway, I, I, I think I would become emotional at that point. Yeah, and just sit and stare at it. Okay. Can I approach? Uh, you, you may have... approach the bench. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Not new crit score. Just oh, okay, the campaign okay. happening. Yeah, yeah. Yes, you can approach. Okay. I'm I'm gonna uh, walk up to Boral after seeing to Milo I've it's mine I'm not stealing it <laughs> I, I've gathered some of the flowers that sprouted around Milo's body and I'm gonna kind of gingerly come up behind Boral and be like um you okay I broke him <laughs> <laughs> so Jake showed up hungover today and I we gave him one beer and now he's like oh this feels so much better bro I need his little hair the dog Okay. Uh, do, the what? A the little dog. what? Hair, oh, hair of the hog. Hair of the hog. Of the hog. <laughs> it's a whole different thing. I need a hairy hog. Wait, <laughs> I need a hairy hog. <laughs> oh, uh, Jake, we don't want to know what kind of kinks you got. <laughs> Big you mean what kind of hair. kinks I got? Hmm? No, I mean, kinks. <laughs> no, but kinks. in this universe, it's Can kinks. I give myself inspiration? No. No. I mean, yes, Fuck to the can. no. You have legendary no, actions. Actually, you do that every time. Yeah, he has to decide if he rolls again. Yeah. Whenever he wants to. Yeah, now that I have full power as a anyway, DM again. Anyway, I'm yeah. going to take some flowers that sprouted around Milo and I'm going to come up gingerly behind Boral and say, "Um, Boral, uh I'm I'm very I'm very sorry. Um, but I Is it okay if I put these here and I'm going to kind of place them on like where the churned earth is that where he put his brother. I and I'm going to give him one flower. If, if you want to, you don't have to, but, um, I know it's not easy. Um, I'm going to, I guess, take my, my eyes off the necklace and just kind of put it in my pocket. And 
gonna look at her. I'm gonna I'm gonna jump up and and hug Leaf. And then I'm you know, going to look at her and say, thank you. And then I'm going to take the flower. Okay. Um, what are you doing with the flower? Are you s- saying anything? Or are you just going to put it down on the turned earth? I think I'm going to walk up and... Then I'm going to say, I'm so sorry. And then I'm going to put it on the ground. Awen, Quilith asked you to fly her over to like the people that are on like the uh, crest of the hill uh, off in the distance. Um, and you kind of land, and the no-named man walks off. Uh, Quaileth kind of steps away for a second and turns back. I, um, I don't know how we would have got out of that without you all. <sighs> oh, um, yeah. Sorry, uh, that sort of a thing. After I use my powers, um. Yeah, you're, you're kind of heavy for... You look light, but you're not. All right, it's, it's all this untapped muscle I have. Uh, but, uh, uh, people underestimate me all the time about that, and, uh, well, uh, let's just say that they are uh, surprised when I really unleash the full force of... Uh, when you flex? When I really flex out, yeah. yeah. Um, well, Tink? Uh, um, yeah, that's yeah, fair. Oh, yeah wow. it could be Tinkable. He, did, he didn't want to Tink at it. But he had to. Oh, yeah. You unleashed the full force of A1, was yeah. like, I was like, dang. Oh, man, I like it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, uh, sorry, you were saying? So. Well, I, that, I, that's what we were like hired to do, though, right? Isn't that, wasn't that part of the bargain is us to protect you and make sure things went well? I, I guess this is well, considering. Most of the people, most of the citizens are alive. We can rebuild the homes and it'll take time. It'll take a long time, but we're alive. Is, are we near uh, where our flowers starting to sprout in the area we're on as well? Or um, is that, are we too far away from the city? I would, so like the whole, like essentially as far as you can see, you can, you can see like, a little bit of grass. The flowers is more of like leaves, like you natural said where things ability. are sprouting though. Yeah, yeah. It's more of like gr- like just grass and stuff like that that's starting to uh, break the like surface of the desert floor. I'm gonna pick some up and and can I roll a survival check on this to see like if this grass would be growing. Why this grass would be growing, I guess, is the question. Okay. Uh, make a survival check. Okay. Uh, 18 plus 8. eight? So 26. Uh, okay. So I, I guess, so So what I have pretty good knowledge about this grass and why it's growing here so is really all I'm looking for. Yeah. So what I would say is like with your upbringing, you know, like the areas and stuff like that. So you know that at one point, this area was a very luscious, like green, like a uh, uh, grassland and also had like a very like vibrant forest near it. So it's to you, it kind of seems as, as this is the, like the natural grass that grew, like used to grow here. Uh, so it seems as like that, that ray of light that shot back into the ground was the literal, like, life force of the area kind of coming back. So this is it like kind of since it's sh- all shot back at once that it's kind of like um, speeding up the process. Yeah. I'm going to pick a few sprigs of that grass and, and put it up in my fingers and put it in front of Quaileth and sort of rub it and take a look at it and throw it into the wind. Oh, it looks like your job might be a bit easier now. It looks like the land has become fertile again or whatever stopping it from from growing 
has returned, so I think you're well on your way. Yes, between that and and just building up a new city, it'll take time. But like I said, we're we're alive, and that's at this point all I could ask for. Um, so I'm I'm going to tend to the people and see what we need and I suppose start rummaging through and scouting the city to see if there's anyone that lived through that. Um, Speaking of, um, maybe a long shot here, but do you by any chance know what happened to Borl's father? Hey everyone, what's your favorite player, Matt? And welcome to this week's middle break and happy 4th of July to everyone who celebrates. Thank you for listening to this week's episode. If you want to show your support for for our podcast, I'll uh, how this holiday show support for our nation there's a couple things you could do first subscribe rate and review to our podcast wherever you get your podcast from google Podcasts, apple Podcasts, spotify you're obviously listening to us on some podcatcher so go there leave a five-star review and leave a nice little write-up about why you love our podcast so other people can see it the other thing is follow all of our social media platforms you can find us on twitter at new crits on Instagram at New Crits on the Block, and on Facebook at New Crits on the Block. We are always posting content of behind-the-scenes footage, our recording dates, what we're drinking on that recording day, which, as you know, if you're a listener, can sometimes uh, bite us in the butt a little bit, but it's, it's, all, it's all in the name of having a good time. The best thing you can do is either share that content or tag someone in it that you think might enjoy it. We are only growing through word of mouth, and we need you to help us spread the word. So if you could do that, it would just mean the world to us. One of the things we like to give back to our fan base who is so amazing is we have our own Discord for new crits on the block. That's right, our own Discord for the podcast, but not just for the podcast, it's for the people. It's for the fans themselves. Because yes, we talk about our episodes. You can talk to the cast members. You can talk to other like-minded fans who enjoy the podcast. You can tell us about your own stuff too, your own creations and your own characters and the the art that you do the stories that you want to tell we have a little bit of everything in there for people we are all inclusive we're very welcoming it is such a amazing amazing culture we have cultivated in there over the last few years and it's something that we are really really proud of so come join us in all the hijinks that we are and we want to learn all about you now i know you're thinking well man i want to do all these things for you and your podcast but all the places you mentioned how how do I, how do i get there well, from our link tree, of course, L-A-N-K-T-R dot E-E slash New Crits on the Block. It'll get you to all the places that I mentioned and some places I didn't even have time to mention. L-A-N-K-T-R dot E-E slash New Crits on the Block. It is your central hub for all things New Crits. All right, everyone, let's get you back into this week's episode. We come out with new episodes every single Monday, and that ain't stopping anytime soon. So thank you again for listening. We'll see you next week. Be kind to each other. Be excellent to each other. Bye bye. And with that, we will hop over to Catan. Uh, so, you so are... wait, like, yeah. So what happens? He told you told. You'll find out. Oh, okay, so like we don't they, we don't they get had to a know. conversation we don't get to know. Oh. Yeah, it's it's a. Uh, Okay, so Awen knows what happened, quiet. theoretically. It's a secret. Maybe. Too quiet. It's a secret. Matt, are you picking this up? It's a secret. Oh, I'm getting a little wiggle here, but not much. <laughs> it's a Tink. secret. <laughs> yeah, do a theater whisper. What's that? What is a theater whisper? Yeah, what is it? Stage whispers, yeah, I think, stage what you're whisper. trying to say. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> Same thing. Oh, so like just talking regularly, but like in a whisper voice. Yeah. Yes. That's not whispering, though. I want to say it's That's why it's called a stage whisper. Because people need to be able to hear you. Theater I wait. like how Theater Whisper was uncomprehensible <laughs> to you guys. I don't know what you mean. I know what you but meant. The stage was just Could like have been a theater oh. of war. Oh, no, I absolutely. Or, or a whisper within a movie theater. Exactly, which <laughs> yeah. would be very quiet. I guess.
but audible enough to hear over the sounds of you the could actions. Have said, honey, you could have said theater. Whisper. I yeah. didn't say it like that. No, you didn't. No, no you, you didn't. Said th- you said theater. You said theater. theater. Oh, oh, I'll find a lot. Nails on a chalkboard. Say theater. Yeah. Uh, yeah, drink your drink. <laughs> I mean, what else would you do with it? Can you stage whisper that? Throw it in someone's face? I guess, yeah. I could. Throw it in Matt's face. She wouldn't waste the alcohol. <laughs> Not on his face. <laughs> I want to do it. I got a little bit left. Everybody do it. Every, everybody do it. <laughs> do it now. Almost spit it out. <laughs> Almost spit it out. Everybody do it. A little it. bit did. Everybody do it. <laughs> a, little bit, a little bit I did spit it out. <laughs> do you well, see what I all work what, what I work with? I, I sacrifice all work with. Also so drunk though. <laughs> yeah, what I, I all, all work oh, with. I'm not drunk. Oh, well, I, I'm not drunk. What I all work with. Do you saw I all work with? <laughs> although, that, although that, uh, that, Video you put up of me recently saying, no, no, I'm perfectly fine. That was a good one. <laughs> I was kind of drunk there. Why is there a pin in my pocket? Oh, so drunk, <laughs> dude. <laughs> He's already white girl wasted. No, this is this is the hack because I do this at work all the time. So I'm not at work. So the idea of there being a pin in my pocket is a weird concept because I'm like, I'm not. But but not because you do it at work. So it's But like, I don't do it anywhere else. I don't walk around with a pin in my pocket. It's almost like I'm at work. <laughs> That's what it is. It's like I'm at work right oh, now. Shit, sorry. Go I thought, I thought we were, I'm so right sorry. Right in the middle of him talking. <laughs> for some reason, I thought we weren't recording. Well, no, it, was, it wasn't for that. It was for... Uh-oh. Oh, we don't have time no, for Baron Bonhoff. You're, right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Okay, <laughs> okay. But, but just to clarify, so basically, for, for the listener... <laughs> <laughs> so that, drunk, Matt. Is that the quote for the episode? <laughs> no, no, we don't have time for Baron Von Honk right now. <laughs> we don't have time for Baron Von Honk. But, but to clarify for the listeners. Oh, oh boy, <laughs> we're just, we're just. Your phone's going my off. My phone went off. I have a Zillow, Ollie, call, I have a Zillow call coming. Oh, Ollie's geez. going nuts. Baron Von Honk is so around here just oh, chilling. He is so erect. No. <laughs> I was going to say, maybe he just makes a moan in the distance. Yeah, it's like, mm. <laughs> yeah that's fine. That's enough. That's all there is. Yeah. yeah. Katan, you are still standing in front of Philippa, who has been completely unresponsive uh, since you have been around her. I will say at this point, it's probably been like five, maybe eight minutes. Since you've been there and uh, everything you have tried so far uh, has not succeeded. I think, it, so has he ever seen her do this before? I don't um, think so. So this was a thing that you guys were really concerned about at the very, very beginning of the podcast. Turning into an icicle. Yeah, like before she had control of her powers. Yeah. However he was under the impression that this was intentional just to protect herself. Uh, you know He's what? starting to wonder if that's the case. Uh, yes, that's probably for the best. So he starts to get a little concerned after it's been like, usually most, like, in this world, most spells last a minute at most, you know? Yeah. Maybe an hour. So he starts to think that, like, maybe this is one of those, like, hour-long things, but, like, he wouldn't understand why because from a combat, from a combat tactical perspective, it should it should like wear off immediately. So he, um, he, he, at first he goes like, are, I'm actually concerned that maybe you can't hear me. Are you, are you in there? And he starts trying to like break the ice. Uh, when you say, are you in there? You see the like whites in her eye and like kind of her head kind of like slowly move towards you. And then her mouth open and you hear Glace's voice. She is sleeping for now. The damage sustained to her body was too much. So I have intervened. She'll be okay. After a day or two, yes. <sighs> that's that's fine. That's the best we could hope for in the situation. Thank you for your assistance. I think we handled this as well as we could have. Yes, I do see that you formed a pact or a deal of some sort with a malicious... Entity. 
at my behest. I would not have done that under any other circumstances. I, I, I had very little choice in the matter. Uh, the, the moment I'll find a way to rid myself of this taint, I will cast it off of myself and never look back. Well, that time might be sooner than you expect. And then you see the head return to looking straight up and her mouth closes. Okay. Why is every goddamn being of power so fucking speculative and vague? Like... And cryptic. Can you just <laughs> once just tell me... I mean, I mean l- listen, Glace, wherever you are, if you can still hear me, thank you for saving Philippa. I really genuinely mean that from the bottom of my heart. But for fuck's sake, just be like, hey, by the way, X, Y, and Z bullshit's about to happen now. Because I know, but no, it has to be something vague and speculative and, and, and cryptic, as the voice in my head or to the left of me just said. And yeah, okay, sure, whatever. You know what? Great, bring it on. Bring it on, Asmodeus, or God, or Sonore, or, or, or Titan. What's next? What do, you, what do you got from me? And he like looks around and everything is totally fucking destroyed. And there is the tiniest little group of pebbles nearby and he just kicks them over in a state of like frustration. <sighs> I, I, he looks at Philippa. I would move you to some place where you could rest, but I, you, you're like 3,000 pounds of ice. So that's probably like 10 pounds of meat. <laughs> <laughs> an old Jake an old Jake. Meat. yeah an old Jake <laughs> reference <laughs> throw back so he just kind of like props up against her and just kind of like leans there next to her and just kind of go and, just, and he, just, he just talks to her he doesn't know if she can hear him he doesn't say anything in particularly important but just about like just stuff her his life he has time to kill okay um and he does that for like a, a little bit. And then he suddenly comes to the realization that all of his friends are missing. Everybody's missing. <laughs> and he's like, oh, wait, actually, I'm so sorry. You're perfectly fine. And he starts like trying to find Awen, trying to find Leaf, and so on and so forth. And um, I would assume Awen would be making his way back to the castle. So as I, I, could, I could imagine like. Or what was the castle? <laughs> oh, yeah. What was the city? Uh, I can imagine him walking kind of past you and Philippa on his way to where uh, he could see. Because at this point, it's pretty much like just a leveled city. So you can you can see someone fairly well across uh, the town. No, like I said, it's flat. Yeah. yeah well, like, so, Catan is talking to an ice block with Philippa and it's like, all right, it's going to go right on past yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can imagine yeah. you use what little rubble was around to skirt around him no I'd go right past him oh, yeah, I'd like okay. walk up to see what was going on and when I saw that he was like oh yeah you know I just to save some people and uh, you know you're, 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 I'm proud of you and uh, you're a block of ice and you know I just wish you know I just wish the gods would just and I'd be like <laughs> okay and I'd go right around that <laughs> I love it I go right around like no. yeah. You, you see me monologuing to no one. Yeah, to a block yeah. of ice, to a Philippa who's like ah. Yeah, even if she was trying to escape it. She's like oh. She, that's that's you see actually what she was trying to escape in the first yeah. place. Her I started arms. talking to her and she just turned into ice. Her like hands slowly go into her ears inside the ice. Yeah, the ice gets yeah. thicker. Yeah. So yeah. I, yeah. So I just get out. I just circumvent right around that. Okay. Uh. Yeah. So you you circumvent and, and walk towards where Boral and Leaf are. Katan following a little bit after. Uh. As you all kind of make your way to uh this burial ground, some could say. I don't, just to be clear, I don't want it to look like... No, it's not, it doesn't look like a burial Because I don't want the townspeople to be like, get that fucking body out of here. You know, like, Sorry, you just saying burial ground reminded me, like, all the bone dragons, gone. were they just like vaporized? Uh, or just yeah. like reburied? Or we uh, can't tell. You can see bone. there's bones for sure, like out about the rubble, but most oh, of them Oh, those are worth of- a lot. Collect them. Excavation really heavy, time. Uh, yeah, we need of, six of those of actually to turn into another. Most of them are like burnt. No, you make them into the, the dragon armor. Okay, there, there is, there is a no evidence that they are of any threat anymore. Yes. Okay. Okay. I just 
Uh, okay. yeah, so you okay. guys all okay. gather okay. where the castle <laughs> used to be. Thank God we all survived. Is, is everybody okay? Oh, what what happened to um what happened to Helium? Did we ever oh, hunt him down? I nope. don't I don't really care what happened to him. He's no, a bad last guy. time we didn't worry about him, he came back to cause problems. Well, maybe we this should. will maybe this will teach him a lesson. I'm I'll Awen will sigh and skulk off and try to find Helium. Uh you walk around for a little bit and come upon Helium. All right, all right, easy. Here, you know what? You know what? We'll, you know we'll soothe your pain, uh, my friend. Give me, give me, give me a medicine check. Oh, okay. Ooh, nineteen plus. I don't think I have anything in medicine. Oh, two wisdom modifier twenty one. He's completely fine. Oh <laughs> God! All right, boy. Uh, what you notice when, when you are looking at him? Is that he has like a very thin like exoskeleton suit around his body uh, that looks like it took him the brunt of the damage, uh, but he's still <coughs> and he like grabs you by the shirt and pulls you towards him. Hey, when <laughs> uh huh, I'm, I'm not long for this world. <coughs> Get closer. Oh, okay, I'm close. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. So, uh, crazy, right? I'm just gonna get out of here. Uh, oh, I don't think so. I'm gonna grab him by the back of his shirt and just start dragging him towards the rest wait, of the group. No, hey, hey, wait, yep, stop. I'm just dragging him. Okay, yeah, yeah you kind of slowly drag him uh, back to where everyone else is. Yep, uh, I'll, I'll just throw him. To the kind of to the side okay. of our group. That's not very nice. Stay right there. You're not the boss of me. I'm staying here because I want to stay here, not because you told me to stay here. Fine. All right. Sure. And he just sits down. I'm not sure. Is Boral like there, or is Boral still down oh, on the pit? He's there. He's well, there. We're all. We're all, you're all at the all pit. Together. Okay, we're all together. Okay. I, I yeah. didn't know if we were like standing over the pit, like just looking at Boral, just being like emotional, being like, oh, you're around the that? area. You're just, you're just at where the castle is or was, I guess I should say. Past tense. Mission accomplished. I, I'm going <laughs> to. No, he says that not, sir. He says that sarcastically and kind of okay, sad. Say, no, it wasn't supposed to be like, great job, team. It was more like, it was more like. Tom's George W. Bush moment here. Yeah, no, it was more just like. We did it. Yeah, we did it. And I'm going to, I'm going to. This is, and he's waiting for somebody to jokingly say, at what cost? Well, I'm going to, I'm going to, my gaze is going to dart towards Catan. I'm like, where's Kay? I don't know. I, we saw him this on the This is his sh- fault. He did this. He manipulated my brother. Kathan this is just his n- fault. nods the entire time. He, he's just agreeing with him. We, yeah. got, we have to find him. We are not done. This is mission accomplished. Look at this. What am I going to do? My brother's dead. My, my ancestral home is completely demolished. My father's missing. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We have to find Kay. That coward. Catan just glances around and just says, I don't think he's here. I think you're right. I no, think. I bet he's watching right now. He's watching us. He's just playing with us. I believe you. And we will find him. And we will make him pay for what he has done. But our immediate task, which was preventing your people from being swallowed up into this has ultimately been successful. We have saved the majority of the people. And I am sorry for everything that has happened. But sometimes this is what victory is. How am I going to... How am I going to explain this to them? Who are they going to turn to? Is Quaylith okay? Oh, yes. Uh, Quaylith is fine. I got her out of the ship. Oh she God. is with the rest of her people. Actually, if you look up there on the ridge, you can see them. Uh, they're good. So who are they going to turn to? Why, why wouldn't it be you? They just saw everything that happened. And they saw that you saved everyone. 
I'm no leader. I don't, I, I don't know. I, I always felt a guilt by leaving. I know it wasn't my choice. Right. Somebody made that choice for me, but I could have, I could have went back. I could have went back right away. I could have found my way back home. True, but you, I mean, you had other responsibilities to take care of. Yeah. Yeah, we came here as soon as we knew that this was happening. You, you tried. I just wasn't, I wasn't fast enough. I was just, what the, what the fuck? What was my father thinking? Why? Why did he, like, okay, I know sending me away, I get that, but why make me forget? I don't understand. Like, they needed help. He needed help. The town needed help. I could have helped. I don't understand any of this. This is so senseless. I mean, would you ask, would it bring you peace to like know those things? Is it, does it matter? I mean, yeah, in a way, I, I mean, it doesn't, it of course doesn't change anything, but I just want to understand because I don't know where he is. Um, Borl, my dear boy, my dear sweet boy, what if, it, hmm? You're gonna say something? You're you're being weird. What? Uh, what if uh, you could find answers to those questions? Well, then I would go find those answers. Okay. Would... Everyone's got a bit of secret news. 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 I'm gonna get right news. next to him, grab his collar, <clears throat> and get right up in his face. Uh, what the fuck are you talking about? Oh, okay, okay. Could you put me down, please? Please put me down. I'll tell you. Yeah. Moral attacking our friends is kind of Leaf and Mythe's thing. Just <laughs> Yeah, we like to do that. But Awen, don't you dare start singing again when he lets you go. All right. I think this is a serious moment if you could please just I, answer his question. I, I'm going to. He's very I got upset. I Katan. I know. I'm, which is why I'm trying to make now him. Sorry. Now he's, I'm now gonna, he's I'm yelling no, 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 at me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dust off Awen. I'm going to straighten his collar. I'm going to make sure he's good. I'm sorry. It's fine. I understand. Well... Um, I have it on good authority that your father is actually en route here now and should be arriving within the hour. So good news, right, everyone? Oh, wait, what? Okay. How? Why? Have it on whose authority? Quaileth. Quaileth. Mm hmm. Who's been nothing but trustworthy so far. Okay. So, right. But why would she tell you that and not me that? Well, I mean. <laughs> it, what, what, do you, what do you mean? What do you mean, well? <laughs> like, is your Mr. Trustworthy, huh? Yes. People like to tell me things. I don't, I don't understand it, but it's, it's the truth. No, I saved her life. And I think just in a moment of vulnerability, I... I, well, I honestly, I thought I was thinking of you when I asked about if she knew what happened to your father. She's been in the thick of this entire thing from the start. So I asked what she knew. Yeah. And she told me something uh, incredible. Apparently, she, Quaileth, and uh, Malin had a bit of a backdoor communication going between the cities and they actually were able to smuggle your father out of your city and into mine without anyone knowing right that's that was my reaction wait yes oh so everything so everything he said up to that point made total sense to me i like in a moment of vulnerability that, that the city is saved and so that he got that information out of like totally believed everything he just said. Like, yeah, that makes total sense that you could be able to extract that information. So, so wait, are, are you saying that when we were in Avelios, he was there the whole time? I don't know if in the city, but, but, but in the protection of Avelios and the protection of Malin, yes. What the fuck? That's what I said, but. I can understand why they would want to keep that information very hush-hush. Yeah, hush. but we, we could have left with him. Like, we, 
Fuck. But then we would have made him a target. I mean, what we else would- better to keep us person hidden than a secret village? I get it. I get it. It's what I would have done. It's exactly what I would have done. I mean, the only... I mean, <laughs> I know that the high elves and the wood elves are not the best of friends. No, but we understand that we need... If we, if we are nothing, if not... Uh, Unified in the same issue. <laughs> right, but, but also just, just set in our ways. We are very culturally based where we understand that that's very important to each no. of our people. We need, a, we need a figurehead for each kingdom. That, I, is, that is how things work, that how things have always worked. And so protecting, protecting that piece of our overall culture is above and beyond anything else. It's, it's, it is shocking and yet so very clear and obvious to me. Right. And that's why I was so perfect. And I cannot believe, I cannot believe who was behind it, which is very frustrating. He's so clever and smart. All right. But oh. he isn't, though. <laughs> and this, good looking. This and must strong. have been Quaylith's idea, and he just must have gone along with it. I mean, I mean I'm starting to feel like maybe he's competent. He is, like, the leader of the Resistance, although now he's what? Captain of the Guard? Yeah. yeah. Captain of the Honor Guard. I mean, if he's Captain of the Honor Guard, then, like, he must be capable. I'm the one who made him Captain of the Honor Guard. <laughs> yes, but I remember, I'm aware. Trust me. I remember sizing him up and thinking to myself, like, this is a capable man and a capable fighter. Mm-hmm. And a good looking elf. And obviously very wise and smart. And All right. Okay. He has bigger muscles than I do. I'm going to say this was Quaylith's idea. You know what? Actually, that's what she told me. She said, Awin, this was all my idea. Okay, now I call bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> now just... we all roll inside checks. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it. Roll inside check. Yeah. Yeah, four. I rolled a four. <laughs> Who else? I got to get inside. I don't really care. Who else wants some? <laughs> four holes. Bring like, it. No, I'm, I'm just like, this is all this. Four holes wow. a one. <laughs> I did not roll a fucking one. Get that one out of here. Bring it, Leaf. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. I'm very wise. Yeah, not this wise. I'm good as shit. Fuck. 18 plus Wait, five. No. no. You you. You do have to make a deception check. You can't I don't think you can beat I can't that. beat that. Uh, okay, well, well, you could you could go underneath a four though. Oh, I beat him. Yeah. No, I'm gonna beat that. Thirteen. Okay. Uh, yes. So you can immediately tell just because you've been with Awen through most of his shenanigans. Oh, look, when his right ear twitches like that, that means he's lying. Oh. What? No, that just means he's allergic to something. No, I'm telling you, that's always when he tells. Why are you pointing at my left ear? Oh. <laughs> you're, you're right, my left. <laughs> Stage right. Stage right. <laughs> wow. Theater right. <laughs> she. How can you even listen to her? She doesn't even know her right from her left. Anyway, I, I'm like very should, wise. I feel like that should give her disadvantage. I'm very wise. Within the hour. Uh, well, yes. After that conversation, probably more like 55 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How much time do we burn? That's still within the hour. Insight Got check. You. Insight check. <laughs> you see everyone? You see? Anyways, two. <laughs> Exactly. What do uh, I? Yeah, he'll be here shortly. He's 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 coming by wagon. Well, I'm, I'm gonna sort of beckon at everything and say, "What the fuck do I say to him?" Any anything? What do you mean? I love you, Daddy. I missed you. Yes, it could be it. That's no, but I, also that's what I would fuck say. him. What for kicking me out? He was saving okay, you. Okay, tell him that too. At least you get to talk to him. He was protecting you. That I didn't really need protection. Sad. Must be nice. He needed protection to have unless life. he got then he <laughs> then he got protection. Daddy. Well, whose fault is that? Katon. Not mine, as we found out. <laughs> <Katon> <laughs> <and> <laughs> stealth. <laughs> Should roll the higher willpower. Uh, <laughs> talk to him about anything. Who cares? What does it matter? No, I. Plus, it will give you a lot of value information. All right. Fine. Do you not want to see him? You don't want to ask him? I, I don't mean, know. Like I said, I... You do want the answers, I don't could have, you? I could have tried to get here sooner. I I don't know. I got to I gotta think. And I'm just going to kind of just walk off. And okay. Just, and just kind of start perusing around the city and like moving boulders and kind of okay. just, just checking shit. Moving boulders. Moving <laughs> boulders. Moving small rocks. <laughs> Fuck. Small rocks. <laughs> Moving Borl. I just look over and Borl just deadlifts a 10,000 pound stone. Uh, This should go over here. (laughs) He's really angry. Borl, as you walk away and start kind of rummaging around things and like looking around, one of like this, there's a small fire that is uh, going like as you're, you kind of like walk up to it. 
And for a split second, you could swear you saw like a face in it. Okay. I'm going to get up closer to the fire. Uh, And as you get up closer, a face that you've seen before, Huma's face, slowly emerges from the fire. I'm going to take a few steps back and sort of like, you know, get on on guard like a ready ready to like defend myself in a way I guess hello my son we need to talk Ben didn't like the straw I gave him. No, but, uh, Brian touched it with his fingertips, so I don't want to put it in my mouth. <laughs> it's fair. What? You guys. You did. You, oh, you mean when I put it in your glass? Mm, when did I touch it with my fingertips? You, I, I think it was when you were adding the lemon. You stirred it or whatever. I put it off to the side because I was like, I don't mm. want to touch my lips to your fingertips. Fair enough. You okay, have a cold. That's all. Fair. That, that was it. I touched it with your, your wife touched it because she's not currently ill that I can tell of. Nope. He says as That's he wipes. Secret. He he says as he wipes his nose. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway. Okay. But to clarify <laughs> yeah. for the listeners, Awen asked what happened to Borel's dad, and Jake texted all this information to Matt personally. But, but so the listeners aren't going to hear any what, of this. No, no, no. Why do they need to know that? Yeah. No, they, they, what they, 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 they know is is that what they know is is that Awen knows, but nobody else knows. No, right? They're gonna they're gonna understand that. No. So what's going to happen? It's going to cut. None of this is going to be in it. This is all going to be bonus content. Then why am I so, using proper mic technique? <laughs> because for once in your fucking you life, know. you've done it, and I'll take it whenever it's for <laughs> it's, podcast bonus content. I don't care. I'll no, take it when I can get they, it. The only time you do it right is when you don't need it. I mean, <laughs> it's going to cut as soon as what happened to Borel's dad cut, and then it's going back to you. Yep. Oh wait, my turn. It. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Fuck you, I need this. oh my god. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> okay, Jake, fuck. what's up? I need another julep. Oh, I need another julep. <laughs> I need another minty J. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, little MJ? Jake is beating his head against the microphone. <laughs> it's not working because it's so cushioned. I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We have I, a I, lot I, of cushion on these mics. Like, I could probably sleep on this mic. Mm. Doze off. Good luck. Okay, well, then how am I supposed to RP without a D? <laughs> well, Katan goes on a speech. I mean, yeah, I've never been stopped known to before. DM every once in a while. Uh, yeah, so known to DM Dabble. Hold on, it's my turn. Everyone shut up. Oh, you're right. Sorry. All oh, right. <laughs> uh, so, Boral. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> 